coming to a close, but you might have some leftovers from your holiday feast, maybe wondering what to do with them. We can repurpose those leftovers, maybe make some new apps for, say, a New Year's, new Year's Eve party Eve, tomorrow. Right. So there we're kind of we talking about there a couple topics today. We're joined here with Eric Robbins. He is the head chef at Uncorked Kitchen in Centennial. And uh, what I love about this, not many ingredients, and it is things that might yeah, still be in your easy. fridge. this is Yep. Yep. So we just have some cream cheese. You know, everybody has leftover cream cheese in the holidays, right? Or if you don't have cream cheese, use some goat cheese. Yeah, yep. go back and take the remnants from your charcuterie board, right? Exactly, Figure exactly. something out. Get bacon, the cheeses together. There's not a lot of leftover bacon at my house, but <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, you tend to have some, so you just cook up some bacon, add that into your cream cheese, cheddar okay. cheese, um, add some smoked salt, some pepper, Ooh. Uh, smoked paprika, and best thing of all is bourbon. Yeah, of course. Nice. Yep. Makes everything better. So what do, what do we call these again? These are bourbon bacon cheddar tartlets. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So so very, yeah, you're not, there's not a ton of stuff in here. No, it, this is a quick, easy one to put together. You just stir it all together so it all gets mixed mixed mm -hmm. together and everything's incorporated together and then you take these nice little Do you buy cheats. can you buy them? You can buy that? these tart shells just okay. like this. Um, and it's a cheat. I yeah. mean it's you know, holiday time, it's stressful. All you want to do is get something on the table quick and, and easy. So and easy, yeah. And then you have bake fun them? with it. And you just well, what's great about right this, in. if you're going to a New Year's Eve party and maybe you're back at work, don't have a lot of time to put something mm -hmm. together. This is something you can do. You can get home that night, put it exactly. together before right. you head out. Yeah, and then you're just going to pop this in a 400 degree oven for about, you know, five, six minutes until the cheese and oh everything gosh, starts bubbling. I and feel like there's a catch here, like, what could go wrong? It doesn't sound like anything can go wrong here. Well, you eat too many of them. <laughs> well, That okay. could be one thing. Good right? thinking. And it goes great with, you know, New Year's Eve cocktails. Yeah. yeah right. Right, yeah. So we do, uh, we have a couple of these type of appetizers on our uh, menu at Uncorked as well. So, okay, so you guys have been there for um, four years out yep. in Centennial? Four years just outside of uh, Park Meadows Mall. I mean, we do interactive, um, hands-on cooking experiences. So if you think of it more as cooking, so cooking class classes. meets dinner oh, party. That's awesome. So, yeah. And we have a full-service wine bar as well. So The culinary experience. Sure, and if exactly. you're thinking about gift ideas next year, you were talking about if you, you maybe don't like cream cheese, there are a couple substitutes you could also Yeah, if you use. don't like cream cheese, you can use goat cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really any soft cheese, and then just bulk it up with some other type of flavorful cheese, like cheddar, mm -hmm. I mean, use Monterey you Jack, got some pepper flexibility Jack, whatever to you got. Make it to your liking. Yep, and if you don't like bacon, well, um, you could use you know put olives or something else in there. Have you ever met there. anyone that doesn't like bacon? I mean, a couple that's of a, people, a couple, couple of people. people, not yeah. many. Well, can <laughs> no, we not try too many. Yep, go ahead. Ooh, well, I know what uh, you like there. about. Yeah, I was gonna say, what are you guys? Oh, waiting and here on? comes Drew. <laughs> what are you guys waiting on over here? <laughs> and Any, little bite size. The same bite size we're making can even make this. I mean, this is what's really important about yeah. this. Well, it's nice about it is too. It's you know a holiday appetizers and especially using leftovers and things. It's just one or two bites. That's all you need. Makes it nice and easy for your guests. So. Thanks so much for coming in. We're going to yes. shut down. Thank you All very right. much. All right, some great ideas. Whip those apps together for the New Year's Eve parties. How's the weather going to hold up for us? We've got one more holiday to oh, yeah. go. One more to go. I think it's